Just hours, closing arguments are set to begin for one of six officers charged in the death of Freddie Gray. Officer William Porter is charged with manslaughter, assault, and misconduct in office. WJZ and Mike Jew are live at Courthouse East where the trial is taking place. Good morning, Mike. Well, good morning, Lynn. Good morning, everyone. The jury could get the case before noon. There's going to be closing arguments on both sides. That starts at 9 o'clock, and then the judge will issue jury instructions, and the jury will have to go do their duty, which is to find the guilt or innocence of William Porter. Well, the past two weeks, prosecutors and defense attorneys have presented their case in the trial for Officer Porter. And Friday, the defense rested its case after calling Porter's mother to the stand, who called her son a nice guy and a peacemaker. Prosecutors say Porter ignored general orders mandating arrestees be secured with seatbelts. But the defense's final expert, Captain Justin Reynolds, said Officer Porter went beyond what most officers would do and puts the blame on the wagon driver. After closing arguments, jurors will start deliberating for charges against Officer Porter. Involuntary manslaughter, second degree assault, reckless endangerment, and misconduct in office. So in this case, if Porter is convicted, he could face up to 10 years in prison. I'm Mike Shu, WJZ Eyewitness News, reporting live from the courthouses. Lynn, back to you. Mike, thank you, and stay with WJZ for complete coverage of Officer Porter's trial. We will continue to bring you the latest from the courthouse as closing arguments get underway this morning.